Stan Purvis with Purvis Bees and uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to treat um, bees with oxalic acid vaporizer and I bought this vaporizer online from a real good fellow from Texas named Mike Stein. He's been a beekeeper for 50 years. He knows what he's doing and uh, I read the design online I was pretty impressed with what he he was doing with it he's it's not a fast process but uh, in this particular case it's a real good idea to go slow uh, he's not overheating the wood bleach or oxalic acid he's taking it slower and uh, it it doesn't overheat it doesn't turn it into any other kind of uh, secondary compound or um, create a dangerous situation inside the hive where it overheats and possibly catches the wax or wood on fire. And if you've ever seen a hive go up in flames, you, once it gets started, it's almost impossible to get it stopped and you're going to lose the bees, lose the hive, all that good stuff. Anyway, what I've got is a single deep here and uh, I've got a makeshift lid on top of it temporarily because I ran out of lids. But uh, I'm putting another lid on it later on. But I got it neck down because it was. I just had to throw a, a couple frames in there, and he built up real quick on me. And uh, now it's a full strength hive. Um, I'm gonna open it up after I treat it. But what I did was I caged this queen for about. Let me see. It was about two weeks. Then I uh, released her. By the time they they released the queen, or I, I uncapped the cage. By the time they ate through the queen candy and released her, and she started laying again, um, all the cap brood was uncapped. And here in the next day or two, the um, she'll have cap brood. But I'm gonna at this point treat it with uh, oxalic acid, the hive with oxalic acid, so there'll be no cap brood until tomorrow the next day so all the varroa mite will be exposed except for what field bees are out flying around so if I wanted to catch them all I would do it after dark which I plan on doing tonight but right now I'm, I'm wanting to film this and show you how I'm treating it I also bought this um, high-speed uh, low drag battery charger slash um, starter from Walmart, which wasn't a too bad a price, but it, it, it gives me uh, a nice little carrying handle and uh, capabilities to work with this Mike Stein designed and um, produced oxalic vaporizer. And it's US made from Texas. He's a real good gentleman and it's a really good price and I've tried them and I'm real impressed with them. It takes a little bit longer, but that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't burn up any, uh, any of the oxalic acid or change compounds in any way. He's using a thermistor in it, keeps the temperature down. And uh, well, I'll stop talking and show you how this thing works. You can see this brood here is just about to get capped. So it's working out just right. They released that queen a couple days ago. She's been laying and it's not quite capped yet. So all the mites are on the bees and exposed to the oxalic acid vaporization. Anyway, should have pretty good treatment. Okay, here we go. First step is I'm gonna show you what we got. Like I said, I've got a bunch of different equipment here. You know, 
it's something about beekeepers. They just gotta throw stuff together. But Mike here, he, he didn't throw stuff together. He did a real good job on this design. This was a brand new one he sent me and I've already used it several times. And uh, there's that brown stuff, there's beeswax that dripped down on it. But it doesn't get, I think he said it doesn't get past 370 degrees. That's the temperature he wanted and he had those thermistors designed that way. Um, it also keeps it from catching any wax on fire. But um, anyway, he has these pans designed or built down in Mexico. Anyway, it's pretty cool the way he did all this. It works perfect. It fits right underneath. Um, as you can see, there's the um, Walmart power supply. It's 1200 amps turn it on this way that's what turns this on and there's the wood bleach you get that I got that from Ace Hardware that probably lasts me longer than I'm alive with the number of hides I'm keeping nowadays no need to break into all this at this point now I will later to see if what the condition of the hive is. Um, I've got a bucket feeder underneath this black bucket, but um, you know, you can just keep it sealed up. But um, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. pretty calm as it is yeah he provided a half a teaspoon scoop that's probably more than I need to be honest with you he told me I'm holding this iPhone it's probably more than I need really But put that in there. Probably a quarter teaspoon would be plenty. That's something else I found out about this particular burner. It works real good. You don't need as much. It takes a little longer, but you don't need as much. Let me get this centered up. Sorry. Get your Scooby-Doo towel. Now you gotta have a Scooby-Doo towel. If you don't have a Scooby-Doo towel, it don't work. See that? Then you gotta have a Scooby-Doo dog, of course. Sadie, there you go. See? You gotta have a Scooby-Doo towel. Oops, maybe that's not my Scooby-Doo towel. Well, that's a Scooby-Doo towel for all intents and purposes. purposes. All right. Close it up. Turn it on. It's shooting me 12.7 volts, 6.6 volts right now. And I turn my timer on. And I wait. I'll be back with you. All right. Time to turn it off. Yeah, you can't quite see it. Well, you see a little bit of what's left. I'm gonna close it back up, try to save some of this. Fumes. Turn that off. I've had a small entrance opening here. That's why they're wanting to head back down this way. I've opened it up now a little bit this way. And that's pretty much it. And you get a, a lot of knockdown with this. 
especially if you make your hive queenless long enough to get all the brood to hatch out and all in other words all your mites are exposed and if you do it at nighttime you can do this in the summer you can do it with one treatment and uh, do it when the mite load is highest that's when I recommend it after you pull your honey you can do it just about any time you want but uh, Mike recommends doing like three or four treatments um, progressively you don't have to make it queenless that's another technique I'll try that later but um, this is one way of doing it Dan Purvis I'll talk to you later Purvis bees